Welcome to Live with Leaks. I am Malika. If you're new to my channel, head on over to the subscribe, like, and share button. Let's get right into uh, today's makeover. It's a very special piece uh, to me since it's been in my family since I was a teenager. But unfortunately, it, did, it didn't match with my decor in my home. But I definitely did not want to discard it, so I tried to make it fit somewhere. Y'all feeling every piece of these Tony Baker comedy hands. Feel every piece, peeps. <laughs> okay, for real. So let me tell you about this product I used. It's new to the market. It's supposed to cover any surface without any primer, and that is my zhuzh. Uh, the company uh, is Heirloom Traditions. The product is called Finish All. Comes in two sizes. Um, I got the larger 32 ounce container. It has a leather finish, so there's no sheen to the product, but um, you can add wax of your choice to give it protection, of course, and then a very slight, slight sheen. So the first thing that I did learn while doing this, because number one, I've never painted leather and I've never used this product. So, so uh, if you're painting tufted leathers as opposed to just doing a flat surface, it's, it's best to paint in between all the crevices and any of the flaps first. Um, you wanna make sure that that area is painted and dried before you move on to the rest of the piece. I would use a blow dryer um, on the cool setting for this. The second thing is that this product is self-leveling. So it works for you and not the other way around. The company suggests that you use their reusable sponges for the first coat. And um, the brush that I pictured in the beginning of the video for the second coat, which will eliminate brush strokes. I will be investing in the sponges for my next product. I think it was about $8 for two um, sponges, but literally 10 minutes to complete the first coat. And it took me a long time to get the coverage that I was looking for. Uh, but that's totally my fault, not the products. So remember, there's no sheen to the finish, but the coverage is unmatched. So a little bit goes a long way if you apply it the right way. I also um, decided to paint the nail head trim um, a contrasting color to make it stand, stand out a bit. So this is what it looked like after one coat. Um, so the contrasting color that I chose was a high gloss Rust-Oleum um, black. And that also um, is extremely time consuming, requires a lot of patience, but I'm glad that I did it. It took a long time. Um, but it's different from the finish all finish because it slides everywhere. So you have to be really patient. Um, and it requires lots of thin coats to be added as opposed to two thick coats. All in all though, I'm very, very happy with the ease of finish all. Any non-painter could successfully use this product. You can easily get two to three products out of a 32 ounce jars that runs about $40. I got it off of Amazon. I would highly, highly recommend this product and I'm now actually eyeballing the galvanized gray. It's a light colored gray for my next project. I hope you guys enjoy and can use some of these tips. Thanks so much for watching. And if you have any questions, just feel free to drop them below and I'd be glad to help or answer them as best I can. We'll see you real soon.